This is Stay Paid, a sales and marketing podcast on a mission to help you close more deals and retain more business. Welcome to another Silver Dollar episode of Stay Paid. My name is Joshua Stike. And I'm Luke Akery. And today, Luke, we're going to talk about TikTok. In early 2020, TikTok burst onto the scene as a household name while people in quarantine were eager to find new ways to stay entertained. Two years later now, believe it or not, the platform continues to grow, making it the third largest social network. So, And at the end of this episode, Josh is going to do a TikTok dance. <laughs> the whole TikTok it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Something with the strumming of the guitar, waving of the hands. I don't know. I, yeah, I bought a new guitar, so maybe I'll have to bring that on the podcast and we'll, you should. we'll do that. So now more than ever. Do you ever, know any TikTok dances, by the way? Do you know any? Um, what's I don't know a like, single one. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Uh, where you're like, oh, throw your hand one. up in the air right, and you right, shake right, your right. hips or something like that. <laughs> How did yeah, you know that? I'm so yeah. impressed. The synergy da, da, da. that you, the same PayPal's yeah, have is exactly. incredible. That's the only one because it's really slow. <laughs> I don't and think I know like a single movements. one. Yeah. I but that one, that one I could probably do. Let's see it. Let's, let's put pro- on a show. I honestly forget it. Yeah. I mean, it's like this. After all of that. That's about it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Perfect. We oh, love that. Oh, man. TikTok's like YMCA on steroids when you're doing the YMCA <laughs> exactly. dance or, you know. Well, hey, TikTok is more than just dances and music. Businesses are starting to figure out how to create yes. content and attract users to the videos to generate leads for their business and gain more transactions. So today we're going to talk about how real estate agents, and this can really be applied to any industry, can use TikTok to tick up their commission checks. Ooh, that was a great intro. Tick up. Commission hey, before we get into kind of why you should be using sure. TikTok and what you should be posting on it, really just want to take a second to explain how the TikTok algorithm works. There was actually a Wall Street Journal um, video and article published on this where they got some insight into how the algorithm works. It's also, if you've seen the social network yeah. on uh, on Netflix, I think it is, talks a lot about- Or how, the social dilemma. Or social dilemma, yeah. 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 How, do, uh, how do these- platforms figure out what content to show you. TikTok has really kind of become the most specific one when it comes to making sure that users are getting specifically what they want. And the way that it kind of works is whenever you join TikTok, and you've all been through this, if you're on, if you're on TikTok and you're not typing in TikTok what you're interested in, it's naturally picking up and you start to think, wait a minute, yeah, it's starting to read it my learns. thoughts, what's happening here. They start off by just showing you a ton of content, trying to figure out what content you interact with. And the biggest contributor to their algorithm is the watch time. So if you're scrolling through content and there's particular videos that you're stopping and watching or re-watching, uh, that's then starting to figure out, okay, they want more of those videos. And then as you go through your journey, it's kind of, you just picture it like as a timeline, it starts off with content really, really wide. And then by the time you're like 30 days into TikTok, the br- uh, the broadness or the breadth of the content that's being showed to you is extremely narrow. And every once in a while, they're, they'll throw in a really viral video hmm. as a disruptor from your norm to see if you would be interested in that. But that's basically how that works. So the reason why that that's important to know is because then that starts to control um, or, or at least it starts to guide, okay, what type of content do I want to make? Yeah. And how you do you want make to it? make niche content? Yeah. Right. And also you want to make content that baits people into watching. Yeah, yeah, watching, while. rewatching, pausing on yep. it. 90 to 95% of content, just as an example, that's seen on TikTok comes from the recommendation engine. Compare that to YouTube, which is 70%. So it's much more powerful. And the, the organic reach of TikTok right now is still insane. Yeah. Like we've lost all, no offense to Instagram or Facebook, not that they listen to our show, but there's no organic reach yep. really anymore in those. There's very, very few. I will tell you, I listened to an interview all about the creator of, of TikTok. He actually created the algorithm first for like news articles. Mm. He wanted to feed people the type of news they wanted to see. And then his whole concept was, I wonder if you could, you know how candy or chips you can't stop eating? Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to basically make social media candy. Yep. And so he took the same type of algorithm, applied it. And so if you ever feel like, wow, I just spent an hour on TikTok, it's literally like you can't stop eating a bag of chips yeah. just because of the saltiness of it and all that stuff. It's the exact same concept. Yeah, they're literally giving you what you want more of. So the next question becomes, well, why should you even be using TikTok? I would say the number one reason you would use any social media for your business is to for- make money. For the sales, right? (laughs) Ultimately, it's for the ability to generate leads. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't, or that doesn't mean that you can make it a constant uh, commercial. As a matter of fact, that's the opposite of what you want to do. We'll talk a little bit about that when we talk about what to post. But you should be approaching your content and the things that you do in terms of interaction, 
uh, and engaging with your audience as a way to get traffic. So that's your views, your followers. Think about it just like your website. You want to get traffic to your website. You want to get traffic to your TikTok page. Then your leads, these are people that you're coming in contact with that you need to nurture. And ultimately your goal, like any digital marketing, is to get to the conversation. That's yeah. considered your conversion point with your TikTok platform is how do I get them offline and into a conversation? Yeah, and think about it as like every single one of these mediums, Instagram, TikTok, you know, print, YouTube. It's all just to build your brand. It's to build top of mind awareness. NAR's new stat that came out this year, 82% of sellers interview one agent. Mm. So you're just trying to stand out. There's so yeah. much noise. Glenda Baker did an interview with Jimmy Burgess yeah. or Burgess. Yeah. And both of them we've interviewed on the podcast, both phenomenal episodes you should listen to. Glenda is the queen of TikTok. We're going <laughs> to talk really about her. Is. She, in that interview, told Jimmy she's made $108,000 off yep. of TikTok. In five and that months. was, yeah, and that was like, yeah, literally five months. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, and now she's the queen. She's getting millions of likes at this point, but there's so much potential there. But I would tell you from a branding standpoint, it's just another medium to get your brand out there for people to know you, for them to like you in a different way. And TikTok has a different kind of medium where it's kind of a little bit more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right, clickbaity. The other reason that is a great time to jump on TikTok even now is the competition is still pretty low. It's gotten a little bit more, but it's still pretty low for all industries, but definitely real estate. It has a younger audience, so a lot of people kind of are scared off by that because they think, well, 16 to 24-year-olds aren't necessarily buying homes. But these are the people that you can start getting in front of, just like what Luke is saying, to be top of mind, yep. to be the agent, the local agent that they think of for whenever they're ready to make their home purchase. And they are a great audience to educate, which you have all of your education. What are some things that you wish that you knew coming out of high school great point. about mortgages, about credit scores that you can be teaching that younger audience? Yeah, no, it's a great point. So let's talk about examples. Ariel has a... Sorry, I had a, okay. a little tidbit there. What you were saying about the younger audience on TikTok, every single time a new platform for social media has come onto the scene, it always, it always starts does, with a younger yeah. audience and then it always slowly transitions into the older audience. Yeah, so what the, I would recommend is get fogies. on now. That way, when that older audience gets on, you're already there and you're already solidified. It'd be so no, funny to correct. see my grandma on TikTok. I don't even know what my grandma would think about TikTok. I got to do that experience, <laughs> experiment. Well, I guarantee you what they in about 30 days, they will be giving her the content that she wants yeah. to see. <laughs> Whatever that content is, that will be there. All right. So let's talk about some things that you should be posting on TikTok. Um, again, this is going to be super relevant to you in terms of what your interests are, mm -hmm. but think about it from the standpoint of you're a local agent, you should be focusing on local content. So this would be content that is relevant to your area, uh, lifestyle of your area, maybe the sports teams, destinations within your area. Check out the hashtags real estate your city, like as an idea of, of ways to start getting some ideas for different types of content that you can be doing. I know uh, Glenda hashtags Atlanta real estate yeah. in every one of her posts to make it relevant to the Atlanta area. Behind the scenes content is great content to post. That's stuff that people like to see. Educational content. So just what we were talking about in terms of what can you educate people on that you have the expertise in, but make it entertaining. Yes. So you want to make sure that any of the educational content that you're putting out there at least has an entertaining spin on it. Tips and tricks of the trade property highlights. Yep. Is a great one. Hider Real Estate, that one I sent you. I literally just, I mean, the easiest way to see what you can post, literally go to the search feature in TikTok and type in your category real estate. Yep. Then look at the list of accounts that come up, see who has the most followers, click on their account, and you'll see examples. Yeah. And I had done that just for this episode in Hider Real Estate. It's like Hider, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but underscore real estate. They have 3.3 million fans. 47.2 wow. million likes and you go to their feed and it's all properties. Yeah. Like it's showcasing. Now it's luxury. So they're a luxury firm. Yeah. So that's what's drawing people in is the beautiful imagery and stuff like that. <laughs> but it shows shows you how you could do a property TikTok yeah. and how you could utilize that. So one of the pieces of content that you can post is literally the properties you're yeah. listing. You just got to do it right. Property highlights and then set those highlights to trending music because mm. the, and you can see what, um, 
basically like to find out sort of what music or sounds are trending, just go to your For You page because TikTok is going to be showing you yes. things that are trending. You'll start to see similar songs over and over again. You can also Google like trending or upcoming trending TikTok uh, sounds where people are kind of keeping an eye on this and can use that. But the reason why you want to do that is because obviously if that sound or that music is trending, your video may have more, uh, a better chance at being shown yeah. organically because TikTok is saying, hey, this thing is popular uh, on the platform. Content related to trending hashtags would be another one. So keeping an eye on those hashtags to see which ones are trending. And uh, you can just like any social media platform. These are some tried and true things that people sure. have doing, you know, since Instagram. Um, it's funny to say since Instagram, which it was so long ago. <laughs> since that old Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> things not to post. So don't post overly produced videos. That's TikTok is not the place for it. Instagram is where you want to show all your beauty shots. You use your phone. To, when we say property highlights, we're not talking go rent a drone, go rent camera equipment, go get a stabilizer. We're talking go do a tour of a home, of an apartment, and set it over that music. Don't do interviews or vlogs. That was another recommendation that I saw, that that's not necessarily yeah, that's the a best good one, place. Yeah. Uh, TikTok, that's more of it's YouTube be style. Bite size. Yeah, and then too much text, obviously, is not going to keep people engaged. Yeah, I would tell you that uh, my two biggest myths, I think, with TikTok is that you have to be able to dance and you have to be hilarious. Like, you have to be a comedian. That's not true. In fact, I pull up as an example, just like content-wise, because we're going to move into examples. But if you go and do exactly what I said, just search on TikTok. Like, here's a guy, Sean loves real estate, 1.1 million followers, 3.6 million likes on his account. Here's his top three videos that are pinned. The the It's all about the hook, because yeah. this is educational. But he goes, pay less interest. And then he had, it's a picture of him just making like a weird face. Pay less, in, less interest has 12 million views. <laughs> Don't put 20% down. Hmm. Again, just the same type of picture, him making a gasping type face. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is sell real estate without owning it. Hmm. And that has 2.7 million yeah, views, crazy. right? And those are his uh, three top pinned uh, videos. And they're so just talking you, head videos. Yeah, you can yeah. literally just go, everybody can do that. Yeah, Like all of you guys can do that. And then you can tag it and do that stuff with the local stuff. And it just is another way for people to get to know you. Absolutely. Other tips there for when you're posting, make sure you're interacting with everybody who's replying to your comments or commenting on your post. Reply to their comments. Do video replies. That's another really popular way to kind of uh, engage the audience and bring them into your world as well. So if you get a comment on your video, I think all you do is hold down on the comment and then it'll pop up a little window and you can say reply. Uh, do or reply with video. And then you can post that on your feed as well. And then the other tip is you have to post a lot. So on TikTok. So this is what, if you're deciding, do I want to start TikTok? If you want to make TikTok a success, we just had uh, JB on the podcast. He said the same thing. You should be posting one to two videos per day. You can film your content ahead of time, get that queued up so that you're posting that consistently. And then like you mentioned before we get into the examples, the idea of hashtags. So three things, three main things go into TikTok's ability to know what your content is. It's the name of your account. So if, uh, if you're in real estate, I would encourage you to possibly put real estate in the name of your account. I see a lot of that with some of these accounts because TikTok then sees, okay, this is a real estate account. Uh, you're uh, obviously the description of your video. So what you're putting in there, yeah. you don't have to make the description super long, but making sure that that's connecting to helping people find it. And then your hashtag. So yeah. those three things are ultimately the things you want to focus on when making sure that your video gets displayed to the niche that you want to hit. Yeah. We're going back to the algorithm thing as we move into the people who do it well, right? So here are examples of accounts you can follow, but the algorithm you just said, literally the number one thing is watch time. Mm -hmm. So in any content you create, try to get a hook that makes people want to stay for the answer. Yeah. So always frame it as a, like a question, like, yeah. and then, so they'll stay yeah. the extra couple seconds for the answer. And you'll see from all these people, like go look at Glenda Baker's account. Yeah. And she's always hooking, whether it's with a crazy story, what I well, love about her. it's the stories. That's what I'm saying. She has crazy real estate stories that have happened to yeah. her. But she's able to hook that to where you're like, oh, I got to hear the end of the story. Yeah, the story that I think is her most popular, it's over 10 million views. She's telling a story about how she sold a home and got a $137,000 commission check. Yeah, and blew it. From selling that home. And she goes, what did I do? I went out and bought a Mercedes. Yeah. I bought a bunch of clothes, pissed my money away. Instead of buying, and she actually had the property. She's like, instead of buying this $100,000 property— in 1995. Now that property is worth a million dollars. And at the end of the video, she goes, the Mercedes is worth zero and my clothes, those clothes don't fit anymore. And it's just like, you have those same stories. 
Yes. Right? Now, obviously, she's a great personality, but it's her sitting in a chair on a smartphone with uh, her the video caption. That's yes. all it is. It's just t- it's transcribing the text and putting the video caption in the videos. And she's uh, 562,000 followers on TikTok. The uh, the hashtag she used in that video, just because I want to make sure we're giving people clear examples, were real estate, Atlanta real estate, real estate agent, and real estate investing. And then when you yeah. click on those hashtags, you can see how many views each one of those hashtags are getting. Another one that I saw in an article was uh, Madison Sutton. She's the NYC agent. She started posting apartment tours. Her uh, specialty is hidden treasure apartments. She started getting 200 to 400 inquiries for one apartment on TikTok. And her point was, she goes, where else in New York City can you see 10 apartments in 10 minutes? Now, 100% of her business comes from TikTok. Yeah. Check this out. So, so this is not real estate. It's still associated with real estate, but it's the mortgage guy. He has 7.6 million likes, 721,000 fans. Mm. And if you look at his content, just look him up. That His handle is at that mortgage guy mm-hmm. is his TikTok handle. And like, here's his bi- mm-hmm. like his video with 391,000 views. It literally is a block that stands out with text that says rent versus mortgage. Yep. And it has 391,000 views. Now, if you look at that, it's going to be just a few second clip of him explaining probably what's better to rent or mortgage. He has other ones, rent versus buy, home inventory, uh, mortgage rate spike, 580 credit score, question mark. Like this is the type of content. It's a bite size that he is doing extremely well as a mortgage guy, and he has 7.6 million likes. It's, that's and, the reach of TikTok right now. It's ridiculous. And when we're putting pointing out like the view metrics, like these are more than vanity metrics. The reason why we're pointing that out is because ultimately you need to get that traffic Correct. in order to nurture those individuals that are coming to your site that will ultimately lead to conversations. Another one that I looked up just as an example, Prince Whiting. Uh, he showcases, and I like pulling these because I like trying to find like what's their niche. So his niche is showcasing Dallas's low home prices rel- relative to other major cities in the U.S. So he can always kind of come back to that niche. He targets the hashtags homes for sale and luxury real estate. And today, 75% of his leads are coming from TikTok. Dang. So a lot of a lot of uh, really strong results coming out. One of, of the cool things with TikTok too is that if you create TikTok videos, you can usually use them for reels as well. Yeah. So you can kind of dual. I know some people might disagree with that, but look, we don't have a lot of time. So you can create content. And think about it this way. You could do different series if, if you want. Yeah. Um, like Glenda Baker's famous for that. She has like these series she yeah. does. Yeah. And so you can think of like series that you want to do. Like the series could be on why rent versus, or why buy versus rent. Yeah. And that could be a whole series for you. Yeah. There you go. There are our tips for using TikTok for uh, your real estate business or really any business. Thank you so much for listening. Head on over to statepavedpodcast.com for the show notes and the video of this episode. If you're interested in supporting the show, there's two ways we ask you to do that. First way, head on over to Apple Podcasts, drop a five-star review. You can now rate us on Spotify too. So if you look us up on Spotify, give us a rating there, but we'd love to hear your comments. We'd actually love to see your review in Apple Podcasts and we will read it here on the show. Best way to show your support is to share this episode with a friend or on your social media. Luke, what is big and great? gray and doesn't matter. Big gray and doesn't matter. Yeah, it's irrelevant. (laughs) Doesn't matter. (laughs) There we go, ladies. If you want to get a hold of me or Luke on uh, uh, (laughs) if you want to get a hold of me or Luke on Instagram, we're at State Paid Podcast. If you want to get a hold of us on uh, email, we are podcast at remindermedia.com. For this episode of State Paid, I'm Joshua Steich. Guys, I'm Luke Acree. Here is your action item for this episode. Learn a TikTok dance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not your action <laughs> episode. But I think your action episode is, or your action episode, your action item is this, is that, look, whether you're going to commit to using TikTok or not, you have to be on social media. In social media, it's bite-sized type content. And this type of content will do well on your Instagram reels. It will do well on TikTok. Sit down, go and research. Look at these accounts in your industry. Go to TikTok, type in the search bar, insurance agent, real estate agent, mortgage, you know, whatever your industry is, see the top accounts that come up and see the content they're putting out. You will just get so many ideas. Your creativity will spark and commit to seeing if you can be on one of these channels and be posting every single day. Remember the difference between a top producer and a mediocre producer is top producers take action. Take action on that today. 